Hey, what's up, everybody? So, in this video, I'll show you how to uh, fix your ZAMP when your MySQL port shuts down automatically. Uh, that is, if you try to start it from here, it won't start. Right now, for me, it's working right now, but still, I'm unable to access PHP My My Admin here. We'll fix this later. First of all, I'll show you if, if you're if you're if you're unable to start My MySQL, then what you should be doing. So whenever that happens, we always try to change our port numbers here at my uh, my INI file or uh, here in uh, config config PHP. We try to change the port at PHP. There is also an option here. Also, there is an option to change the port. But uh, all of that is fine. That can work for you. But but the actual problem which I've seen here, I mean. But this one, but this one trick can really uh, fix your issue without changing your port port number. Uh, and uh, that is, if you go to your XAMPP folder, then MySQL, and then 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 data, you need to delete all these files. Just leave the just leave the folders and just delete all these files, right? And that will just start your port. Right, that will start your my my SQL port. Right, if you change the if you change the port number, that that will that will work. But then it may not work if you just change the if you just change the port numbers. It may or may not work. But yes, if you delete these files, right, in my SQL data folder, for sure this will this will work. And now let's tackle this one, right? This 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 error. If I, you may encounter this error if you try changing the port port number. Try if you try changing the MySQL port number. So for that, it's not enough to just change the port number in my my INI file, right? You also have to change the port number in PHP dot INI, right? So if I search here, default port, right? So you can see here my MySQL dot default port. I need to change this to eight, right? And the next one also. So twice you'll you'll find this option twice. So both of them you need to change to three three zero eight, right? And you also have to make sure that in my INI file, it's the same port number, 3308 and 3308. Okay. So after that, just stop Apache and start Apache. And if you retry to connect, yes, it, it works. Right. 